The Unlock Your Performance Contest winner presented by Castrol Edge Motor Oil. It's more than just oil, it's liquid engineering. Throughout this contest, we filmed off-road trucks, Euro tuners, and even fully geeked out, unrestored American cars. But what's the one thing we're missing? Well, how about a massively overpowered tuner car? And if you're talking about huge amounts of power, chances are you're talking about the Toyota Supra. And this particular Toyota Supra makes power well into the four digits. Now, my man Tyler here, where are you? Come here, buddy. What's going on? Tyler has earned himself a case of Castrol Edge and a $500 gift card for this Toyota Supra. What's up, man? What's up? Congratulations for winning. Thanks Thank for you. having us out. No problem. Tell me about your car. All right. It was purchased in March, almost three years ago. Mm -hmm. It was red. It was a drag car when I bought it. Unfortunately, the motor went out on me. It had crank walk. Couldn't really test for that when I picked it up. And the project began ever since. We tried to do something that I could take to a car show one day, drag strip another day, and just cruise around town the next. Okay. So. And exactly how much power are we talking about here? 1,181 to the rear wheels, magazine numbers. <laughs> to the rear wheels. Yes, and on the drag strip, 1042 to the rear wheels. So we're talking about Bugatti Veyron beating numbers here. The motor, it's completely forged. It has CP pistons. They're overboard. Carrillo H-beam rods. The ACL bearings. The block has been completely bored out, polished. The intake manifold is Virtual Works. It was for the non-turbo Supra on my old one. Mm -hmm. We actually cut it out on the inside. On this side, we have an SP81 turbo, which is pretty much a GT45. It's okay. 80 millimeter. It's the GT42 housing with the 47 wheel on the inside. Okay. Uh, Pat, just this one piece of plumbing right here is really kind of impressive. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's like a chimney. <laughs> Cold air intake, all custom. And what about the interior of the car? I see some racing seats. I see a cage. The interior of the car is completely redone as well. The door panels were rewrapped in finer grain vinyl, uh -huh. just so it matches the seats a little bit better. Okay. Seats are Sparco Monzas, rewrapped in leather with titanium stitching. Okay. The steering wheel is TRD. I like that TRD wheel. That's nice. Amp rack and the nitrous bottle, which isn't hooked up because of Arizona law. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you can't be breaking Arizona law. Of course not. And these wheels, I see some CCW wheels, which I'm familiar with as a Corvette guy. CCW mm -hmm. makes a lot of vet stuff with 345 tires on this. Yep. Now the Viper comes with 335 tires. And that I think is the biggest tire on a production car right now. That's nice. Thank you. What are these? These are actually screens, but instead of playing Fast and the Furious like everybody does, it has build pictures of the car. Oh, so cool. if I go to a car show, I can incorporate the display of the car into the car. That's cool. Yeah. But when you have this much horsepower, isn't it kind of actually nice to have a little extra weight over the tires? Yeah, with the 345s, what a lot of people think is wider tires equals more traction, but you're also dispersing the weight differently. Mm. So a lot of people overlook that fact, and the weight actually helps on the drag radius. Yeah, I, I believe that. We should take it for a ride and see how it goes. I should. Let's do that. Do you have a crazy clutch in this thing, too? Yeah, it's annoying. Like one of those triple plate deals? It's a double plate, but it's carbon. Oh, yeah. Strapless design. Wait, how much boost did you say it was running? 40 PSI. Not when right you, now, though. How do you keep the engine from just grenading itself when you're running that much boost? You kind of have to hope. <laughs> prayer? That's yeah. really all that you've got. <laughs> Once the engineering work is done, all that's left is praying. Well-built motor. It, it looks like a well-built motor. You seem to know what you're doing. I mean, any car that will run a nine-second quarter mile is a well-built motor. Very true. The stock Supra was 320 horsepower, am I right? You are right. You're almost four times that. Almost, yeah. <laughs> Give me a little bit of boost. A little bit of boost. <laughs> yeah, it goes. It goes pretty good. And what is this thing red line at? Uh, the factory red line is 6,800, uh -huh. but I shift at about nine on race gas, but I don't usually take it past 7,600 on pump. Yeah. 
When you run race, do you run 106 or 116? I run the Torco Mach 118, which is the equivalent of it's the equivalent of C16. Yeah. It sounds like a race car. Yeah. <laughs> it is a race car. It's not a. It's not even remotely a street car, but yet somehow it's registered. <laughs> Well, Tyler, thank you so much for having us out. You have uh, truly unlocked the performance of this Toyota Supra. What are your plans for it next? Pretty much just get a few bodywork things done, rear diff, just small little parts. Rear to diff, get done. yeah, 1,000 horsepower. You will need a rear diff. Yes, I will. How many trophies have you won with this car? About nine in the past year. Nine trophies and a nine second quarter mile. This is truly the most unlocked of our cars. I'm Matt Farrow with Tyler Flaunt in his 1993 Toyota Supra, and we will see you guys next time.